Hey friend, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for joining me for a class today. Now I have got an hour long Pilates class just for you. This is more of an intermediate level class. There are some more challenging poses for my beginners out there that might wanna try something a little harder for themselves. Know that you can always pause, stop. It's okay to take a break, um, but we're gonna hit pretty much our whole body today. A little bit of strengthening, a little bit of stretching. We will start in a nice seated position. Remember, if you don't have time for this class at the moment, no big deal. Just add it to your to watch later list and you can join me whenever it's convenient for you. All right, we will start in a nice easy seat, however feels best for you. But go ahead and let your hands rest on your thighs. Lift a little bit higher out of the waist and think about someone pulling your ears up to the sky. Close your eyes for a moment to check in with your body, just noticing how we're feeling. Does it feel like there's tension in a certain place? Is it hard to sit up tall and straight? Can you lift a little higher out of your waist? No right or wrong, just taking this moment to check in. Take a nice easy breath in through the nose. Big sigh out the mouth. Again, great big inhale. Big breath out. One more breath. Let it go. Seal the lips together, breathe through the nose, wrap your oblique muscles in. It's like there's a belt around your waist, getting one notch tighter, drawing the ribs closer together and helping you to elongate through the spine a little more. With eyes opened or closed, dip your chin to your chest, lift the back of the head up, take a big inhale, roll your right ear to right shoulder, looking forward, lifting your left ear up, pressing the left shoulder down, bring your chin back to chest. Same thing, other side. Bring your chin back to chest. Take that nice easy roll, right and left once or twice more. That can be as big, small, fast, slow as whatever feels good for you. Pause there in the center with your chin in, lift the back of the head up a little higher. Look forward, roll your shoulders backwards three times. Make this great big circular action. Take your shoulders up as far as you can, as far forward, far back. Same thing, other direction. Just saying hello to our upper body. And then pause, navel in, and we're gonna wake up our wrists. So just start to roll the wrist around. Take that in the opposite direction. Keep that little roll going on and reach your hands over your head as you do so. Lift up higher out of your seat and then reverse as you push the hands down. Take your little circular wrist roll in the opposite direction. Lift up and out of the waist like someone is pulling your wrist up to the sky and then down we go. Pause and go ahead and send your right hand forward and lightly pull your hand towards your uh, forearm. That can be as deep or shallow as you want to. Sometimes it feels really good to kind of hug it in and I push out a little bit further through my arm. Sometimes a little softer feels better. And then opposite, go ahead and find a little bit of flexion there and then let it go circle. Same thing other side, start by kind of pointing your fingertips down, hugging the hand in, lifting up and out of your waist, still sitting tall, sitting straight, and then flip and a little flex. And then pause from here, go ahead and reach both hands up nice and high, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Push the elbows back behind you, wrap the ribs in, pull the navel to spine, take a big deep inhale, little twist to the right. Inhale, look forward. Little twist left. Inhale, look forward. And then take a little sway over to the right. Pause right there, poke your left elbow up. Now we're fanning open our left ribs. We're finding that nice big stretch. Is your left sitting bone pulling away from the mat? Can you sink it down if you've kind of let yourself fall on over? Take a big inhale. As you exhale, pull the navel to spine, knit the ribs in, 
bring your head and chest up. Think of that, think about that almost as an oblique activity. We're reaching over at first. It's just a nice big stretch, poking the elbow up, pressing your hip down, pulling your belly button in. Big, full inhale. Exhale, pull yourself all the way up. Now, one more time over to the right and pause. From here, can we keep our elbows nice and wide? Take a big inhale and twist looking down. Now you see, I didn't actually move my elbows. I didn't let them fall or kind of push back. They stayed still. I twisted from my sternum, from my belly button, and then I'm gonna look forward. Exhale, upright. <sighs> Inhale, over, pause. And then a twist. <sighs> look forward, come upright. Let's do that again. We lean to the right, twist, look forward, come on up. Lean over to the left, twist. Look forward, come on up, pause. Go ahead and take your hands right in front of your, um, your, your shins. And I'm gonna turn this way so you can see a little bit better, but I'm just going to cat and cow gently right here. That can be as big, small, fast, slow as whatever feels good. But rock off your sitting bones, reach your sacrum back to the ground. It's like we're creating a Pilates C curve and then a little push of your sternum forward. Once or twice more, just like that. And then find your center and lie on your back. We can have our feet planted on the floor, heels in line with our sitting bones, hands gently away from the mat, and just wake up your spine a little bit more with a few little pelvic tips, little pelvic rocks. Just gently push the low back down and relax. Exhale, belly button in, inhale, relax. Exhale down, inhale up. Once or twice more. And then pause, hold, hands down and actively push the palms into the mat, push the backs of the arms into the mat and the shoulder blades as well. Take a big inhale, pick up your right leg. Now from here, all I want us to do is tap our right toe down, exhale, pick the leg up. Now it's more of a hinge from the hip than it is a movement in the knee or the toe. The toe and knee move in space, but they should be mostly still, it's the thigh. Inhale, foot down, exhale, cinch the waist lift. Inhale, toe down, exhale, cinch the waist lift. Two more, down and up. Last one, down and up. Set your right foot on the floor, pick up the left, stomp into the right, cinch your waist, and then inhale, toe down, exhale, lift. Hinge at the hips as you pull it back. You open, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Three more. And two. Last one, lift, pause. Left foot down, right foot up. Extend it to the sky. Take a little stretch at first. Feel the weight of your leg kind of sink your hip deeper into the ground. At the same time, extend the toe higher. Maybe point the toe, reach it up a little higher and then actively flex the foot. Heel up, toes to face. Point the toe, reach it up, 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 up to the sky and then flex the foot, pull it towards the kneecap. Again, point, reach the toe up, big flex of the heel. One more point, pause, send the foot a little higher, touch it back to the ground and same thing other side. At first, just feel the weight of the leg, help to sink the hips down, keeping our spine imprinted. Our toe is pointed, we're reaching up to the sky, it's like someone is yanking it away and then we flex and point. Flex and point. Every time I flex, I do feel a deeper stretch to the back of my leg. Sometimes it's more in the calf, sometimes it's more in the hamstring. That just depends on the day. Go ahead, point the toe, reach a little longer, set it down. Take your hands over your head, find a stretch from your hips through your body, out your fingertips, and then hands right back down by your sides. Big inhale. Exhale, pick up your right leg. Exhale, pick up your left leg. Wrap the inner thighs towards one another. Again, feel the weight of your hips or of your legs. Sink the hips and low back down and then touch your right toe to the ground. Exhale, pick it up. Touch your left toe down to the ground. Exhale, pick it up. Inhale, right toe down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, left toe down. Exhale, lift. Are your shoulders trying to move away from the mat? Can you keep them connected? Can we keep reaching our thighs further away from our body? Inhale, down, exhale, lift. 
Inhale, down, exhale, lift. One more side to side. Last set. Last one. Both legs up, give them a flex. Take your hands to the tops of your thighs. Actively push your thighs into your hands. Push your hands into your thighs. And because of that, feel your tummy muscles kick on more and your back lengthen. Every time we come back here, push your hands and thighs towards one another. Heel down, exhale, pick it up. Heel down, exhale, pick it up. Your heel may or may not touch the ground. Maybe it's a little harder this time. Maybe it's a little easier, who knows? Sometimes something is easier for one and harder for another, that's okay. Inhale, heel down, exhale, cinch the waist, lift. Each time I come up there, I push my hand into my thigh. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. You got this, my friends. Last set. Last one. Pull. Set both feet down. Lower your low back if it's lifted at all. Take that great big stretch, full breath. Big sigh out. Hands by your sides. Reach your right toe up to the sky. Reach your left toe up to the sky. If it's too much to have both legs lifted, we could always set them down. That's okay. But take that nice big stretch like we already did. Give your feet a nice big flex. Point the toes. Give your feet a nice big flex. Point the toes once or twice more, just like that. No hurry, no rush. Set the legs back down on the ground, navel to spine. Take your hands behind your head, elbows nice and wide. Curl head and chest up. Look over the horizon of your knees. Imprint the spine more. Big inhale. Exhale, pick up your right leg. Pick up your left leg. Right toe down, exhale, lift. Left toe down, exhale, lift. If it's too much to have our head lifted, you can set it right back down, that's okay. No big deal. Think about grazing your inner thighs across one another, keeping the low back connected to the mat the entire time we're here. Inhale, toe down, exhale, lift. Inhale, toe down, exhale, lift. Two more sets. Last set. Last one. Hold, squeezing your thighs, curl up a little higher, take a full big breath, keep your head and chest lifted. Can you elongate the legs up to the sky and then re-bend the knees? Elongate the legs up to the sky, pull the navel in, re-bend the knees. If your legs do not straighten all the way, it's okay, friends. Re-bend the knees. Two more straight and lift them up to the sky and bend. Last one, lift them up to the sky, hold. Curl up a little higher, pull the navel in, look at the kneecaps, flex the feet and point the toes. Flex the feet and point the toes. Two more, flex and point. Last one, flex, pause, reach the heel up, curl a little higher, take a great big full inhale. Rebend the knees. Take a big breath. Right heel down, exhale, tone the tummy lift. Left heel down, exhale, tone the tummy lift. Now, it's still that feeling of your hands kind of stopping your thighs, even though they're behind our head. We still want to envision there's an imaginary wall helping to pause. Inhale down, exhale, tone and lift. Inhale down, exhale, tone and lift. You got this. One more set. Last one left. Hold, take a big breath. Feet down, head and chest down, reach your hands over your head. Wiggle the fingers, press into your hips, lift. I'm sorry, I said press into your hips. Press into your feet to lift the hips. And really think about pubic bone up, navel to spine, space between chin and chest, even here. Great big full inhale, big breath out. Lower all the way down to the ground. Again, tip the pubic bone, lift up, find the top of your bridge, squeeze your thigh, open up across your chest without splaying the ribs. Roll all the way down to the ground. Inhale, lift your hips up, find the top of your bridge, roll all the way down to the ground. Last one, lift up. Lower all the way down, 
pause. Take a moment here and print the spine. We will take our hands directly up to the sky, hugging an imaginary present. It's great, big, heavy present. Give it a big squeeze so our arms are nice and active. Take a big inhale, press into your feet, curl head and chest, reach the present over the knees. Your hands are a little bit wider than your knees. Take a big inhale, pick up your right leg, pick up your left leg. Right toe down, exhale, tone the tummy lift. Left toe down, exhale, tone the tummy lift. Keep the low back touching the mat. No hurry, no rush. Down, exhale up. Down, exhale up. Keep hugging your imaginary present. Your arms should be active. They're not just floppy. If we need to take one or both hands behind the thighs, you, or I'm sorry, behind the head, you always can. I'm folding from my sternum. I am lifting up the shoulders back behind me rather than worrying about exactly how high my head is. One more set side to side. Last set. Last one. Pause, squeeze the inner thighs, curl a little higher, extend the legs up to the sky, hug the imaginary present, flex your feet and point your toes. Flex your feet and point your toes. Flex and point. Flex and point. Last one. Flex, pause, bend the knees, squeeze the inner thighs together, pull the navel in, heel down, exhale, tone the tummy lift. Heel down, exhale, tone the tummy lift. Again, you could always take your hands behind your head if you need a little extra support. There's nothing wrong with that. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale, lift. Inhale down, exhale, lift. You got this, friends. <sighs> Two more sets. <sighs> Last set. Both legs together, pause, squeeze the inner thighs, take a big breath. Feet down, head and chest down, beautiful job. Imprint the spine, hands over the head. You can heel toe the feet a little bit further apart, knock the knees together and take a little twist, a little windshield wiper side to side. Walk the feet back towards one another, take the hands off in a low kind of V or a wide V, I suppose, not quite a T. Palms down, shoulders down, belly button in. Stomp into your left foot, pick up your right. Reach the right toe further away. We're gonna do some leg circles. Open your right leg off to the side, bring it down and around, exhale, swing it up center. Now, as we open and close that leg, concentrate, of course, on keeping the low back connected to the mat, but also on your left kneecap. If that left knee is wiggle wobbling, we need to push a little bit more into your left foot, into the back of your left hip. You could take your left hand to your hip to help keep it in place. Open, down and around, exhale, close. Open, down and around, exhale, close. Last one in this direction and then reverse. Down, open out and around, exhale up center. Down, open out and around, exhale up center. If your leg circles are not as big as mine or if your leg is a little bit bent, that's okay. Eventually we're going for a long straight leg, but if there's a micro bend in the knee, that's perfectly fine with me, my friends. Down and around, exhale up center. Down and around, exhale up center. Notice if you're letting your hips wiggle, wobble. Maybe stabilize through your palms and the back of your shoulders just as much as your tummy and your left foot on the floor. Last one, down and around, exhale up center, pause, reach the toe further, pull the navel in, take a big inhale, set your right foot down. Pick up your left leg, elongate the left leg, open up across your chest. Left leg opens, down and around, exhale, swing it up center. Open, down and around, exhale up center. Again, of course, our tummy is working so hard to keep our torso in place but a good kind of um, barometer of what's going on in our hips is making sure that the right knee is not moving. It should be so still. Open, down and around, exhale up center. Inhale, big exhale, punch the gut up. Inhale, exhale, tummy pulls in. Beautiful. One more in this direction and then reverse. Down, open out and around up center. Down, open out and around up center. Down and open. Down and exhale. 
down. Keep turning on all the muscles in the leg. It's nice or it's easy, not nice, it's easy to start to relax, but I'm continuously imagining that someone has my ankle, that they're pulling my ankle away from my body, and I'm resisting by keeping my hip grounded. Last time, hold there, pause, take a big breath, set that foot on the floor. One more time, reach your right leg up to the sky. We're gonna do that again, and if we want to, we might elongate the leg. If that is too much to elongate our leg down the mat, it's okay. But for me, I almost drive my left heel into the floor, pull my navel in, hand can be on my hip, and then open, down, around, exhale, up center. <sighs> open, down, and around, exhale, up center. <sighs> this will sound so silly, but a lot of times when I'm doing moves like this, where so much of my body is totally still on the mat. I think of myself as a little gingerbread cookie. It's like a little gingerbread cookie and my leg and both my arms are just glued or stuck to the baking sheet. I can't possibly pry them up, but I can move the one leg. Inhale open, down around up center. Inhale open, down around up center. Last time, reverse down, open out and around up center, down, open out and around up center. Remember, if you were that little gingerbread cookie and I was nearby you and I just came and tried to pick up your right or left arm, they would just be glued to the ground. Keep pressing down into the ground to stabilize the back of the body. Two more, last one, hold, take a breath. Right foot down, left foot lifts to begin. Find the length. Do you want to keep your right leg in place? Do we want to elongate it? Both sides might not be the same, so maybe we need to keep it there. Drive your right heel down. Pull the navel to spine. Suction cup your palms and shoulder blades to the mat. Open, down and around, exhale up center. Open, down and around, exhale up center. As much as you can, keep pressing the heel into the mat, lengthening long through your entire left leg, like someone just holding your foot. They are pulling it out, pulling it down and lifting it up. Inhale, exhale on the way up. Inhale, exhale on the way up. Three more. And two. Last one other direction down open out and around up center inhale down open out and around up center keep reaching long through the entire leg down and around open up center down and around you got this keep sending that toe further away wrapping the tummy in, drawing the ribs in two more down and exhale last one down and exhale pause set the foot Bring the right leg in, press into your heels, reach your hands over your head, rise into your bridge. Shoulders down, pubic bone high, belly button in. Take a big, deep, full inhale. Big breath out. Slowly lower down, one vertebra at a time. Tip right back up, return. Exhale, lower one vertebra at a time. Go ahead, lift right back up. And then last time, roll all the way down. Pause, low back, touching the mat, tummy pulling in. Take your hands behind your head, curl head and chest up. Look over the knees if we need to keep our head here. If that's our hands here, that's great. If we can remove them, that's awesome too. Take a big inhale. Fold a little bit higher. Take another breath. Big sigh out. If you have not already taken your hands away from your head, do so. Lift them over your kneecaps. Go ahead and touch the thumbs together. Give me five tiny micro crunches. Exhale, tiny roll up, tiny drop down. Exhale, tiny roll up, tiny drop down. Three more tiny lift, tiny lower. Exhale, tiny lift, tiny lower. This one lift, pause, take a big deep breath. Big sigh out. Circle your hands back behind your head. Curl your elbows. Lift up a little higher. Think about your left shoulder curling and reaching towards your right knee. So I'm going to take a big inhale. I'm going to pick up my left shoulder and then drop it back to that starting place. Pick up my right shoulder. Bring it down. I'm never fully reclining. I'm keeping the head curled up or folding from the sternum. I'm just picking up the shoulder a little bit more and dropping it back. 
Exhale, cinch the waist, little lift, inhale, drop it back. Exhale, little lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, little lift, inhale, lower. Two more. Last set. Last one. Pause center. Five micro crunches. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Three more, lift and release. Two more, lift and release. Last one up and lower all the way down. One more time, hands overhead, wiggle out the fingers, walk the feet in, roll yourself up. Take a big, deep filling, inhale, big sigh out. Lower all the way down to the ground, pull your knees into your chest, circle the knees around. Find some movement in your ball and socket joints opposite direction. And then a little rock and roll up to a seat. Now, friends, we're gonna come to kind of a mermaid pose um, for our Pilates. Sometimes these are done in different ways and you can always modify for yourself. Right now, I'm going to kind of curl my right leg in and send the left leg out. Sometimes people feel better with them kind of tucked in. You can also sit on a block underneath your right tush. Um, if that helps us here, you can roll up your mat and do the same thing. Now, first, we're just gonna take a great big stretch. Belly button in, shoulders broad, head lifts high. Big inhale, hands lift up to the sky. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Push the elbows nice and far away. Take a big breath. Twist to the right. Inhale, look, center. Twist to the left. Inhale, look, center, pause. Now, all we're gonna do is once more, reach the hands up nice and high. Rotate the pinky stew, um towards one another and lift a little higher out of your waist. Drop your right hand down. Stretch over to the right. Now think about pushing your left hip to the mat. It might not actually touch. It's okay that it doesn't. Think about fanning open the ribs a little bit more, making sure our right shoulder isn't climbing up to our ear. Flip the palm and cactus the arm. Push elbow and hand back. Point your nose to the sky. Straighten, look forward and then lift right back up. Like we did at the start of class, when we lift and lower in this position, really think about that as an oblique workout, my side tummy helping to pull me up. Take the hands out again, catch your left thigh, or I'm sorry, that's your shin, your left leg and stretch away. Big inhale, exhale, tummy pulls you back upright. Again, right hand down, left hand high. First, find the stretch, push the hip down, flip the palm to me, cactus the arm, push elbow and hand back, point your nose to the sky. Straighten, lengthen, big breath, exhale, side tummy helps pull you up. And then great big stretch in the opposite direction. Big inhale, exhale, pull yourself up. Now, a little bit different. Instead of having kind of a curved little spine there, we are going to kind of scooch over to the right and I'm gonna reach my right hand nice and far away so my spine is in a diagonal line. My hip is not actually touching the ground anymore. My butt is lightly lifted. Um, and then pull the navel in. Hand can stay on the hip like I have it right now, or you can reach it off to the side and pretend there's a little table that you're pushing your palm down into so it stays nice and active but from here take a big deep inhale cinch your waist lift out of your waist take another breath as you exhale pick up your left leg <sighs> inhale touch it down now you might lift up and start to bend the elbow a little bit more if that happens crawl your fingertips further away the farther of a diagonal angle we're in the easier it is the more upright the harder this is so you can always modify for yourself but otherwise exhale pick up the leg <sighs> drop it down Exhale, pick up the leg, drop it down. As you lift and lower, I'm trying to keep the shin parallel to the ground. So I'm not just like rotating the knee up. I'm picking up the entire leg and I drop. Exhale, belly button in, drop it down. Exhale, up, inhale, lower. Exhale, up, inhale, lower. If your hand is lifted like mine, don't just let it be floppy. Push down into an imaginary table, activate the arm. Exhale, up, inhale, down. Exhale up, inhale down. Two more. 
Now this time, lift, pause, navel to spine, lift out of your waist. Take a big breath. As you exhale, can you pull your knee lightly forward and then sway the leg a little bit back? So it's like I'm hinging from the hips, pulling the knee forward, and then I'm pushing it back. Squeeze the thud as you do so. Exhale, navel to spine, inhale, slide it back. Again, my leg is as hard as I can, trying to keep it parallel to the floor. Exhale, pull it in, inhale, reach it right back out. Exhale, pull it in, inhale, reach it right back out. Two more, pull it in, reach it out, pause. Now from here, can you straighten the leg all the way? Can we pull our navel in? Can you squeeze your thut? Foot can be pointed, flex soft, whatever makes sense for you, but reach it nice and far away. Take a great big breath, big sigh out, rebend the knee, set it down. Both hands lift nice and high. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Take a twist to the right. Look center, twist to the left. Look center, release both hands, lift high. Stretch over towards the right. That same big stretch we did, push the hip down, fan open the body, cactus the arm. Push elbow and hand back, look to the sky. Straighten and look forward. Come right back up. And then same thing, other side. Great big stretch. Feels really good. I could stay there a little longer. You could too if you want to, but otherwise come on back up. Swim your legs to your second side. Okay. So as we arrive on our second side, navel to spine, head high, both hands lift. Take your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Big inhale. Exhale, twist to the left first this time. Inhale, look forward, twist to the right. Look forward, release, both hands lift high, rotate the pinkies and lift up out of your waist, drop the left hand down. Start with that great big stretch over. I press my right hip closer to the ground, flip the palm, cactus the arm. Push elbow and hand back, point your nose to the sky. Find that great big stretch across the chest. Look forward. Extend the arm, come right back up. Take your big stretch over to the other side. Go ahead and come right back up. Once more, up and over. Hip down if it's lifted, stretch. Cactus the arm, elbow back. Kind of spiral your chest up to the sky. Look forward, come on up. Big stretch, other direction. Come on back up. Beautiful. Now, like we did on the first side, we are going to lean over to the left. Crawl the hand a little bit away. Pull the navel up and in. Is your hand going to stay on your hip for this side, or we do we want to take it off and away? Push down into your imaginary table. Wrap the ribs in. Great big inhale. Exhale, pick up the leg. Drop it down. Notice, do you need to adjust where your hand is? It's okay if you do. Tummy in. Exhale, pick up the leg. Drop it down. We might notice one side is much harder or much easier than the other. That's okay. We all have inconsistencies. As you lift and lower, resist the urge to crunch over, but instead, navel to spine. Drop it down. Exhale, pick up the leg. Drop it down. Exhale, pick up the leg. Drop it down. Two more, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Last one, up, hold, belly button in, lengthen a little bit more. Pretend I'm pulling your ears out and away from the body. Take a big inhale, exhale, pull the knee forward, slide it back. So I'm really hinging from the hips, drawing the knee forward, and then sliding it back. Exhale, pull it forward. Inhale, bring it back. Two more, pull it forward. Inhale, bring it back. Last one. Reach it out, hold. Find more space between each and every vertebra like you are being just pulled apart from hips through your body, out your ears. Elongate the leg. Squeeze your thut. Pick up the leg a little bit higher. Pull the navel in. Take a great big full inhale. Big breath out. Rebend your knee, set it on the ground. Both hands lift high, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Take a twist to the left. 
Inhale, look forward. Twist to the right. Look forward. Let that go. Switch to your first side again. And a little bit different from our first side. This time, once more, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Poke them wide, pull the navel in, take a big inhale. Twist right. Look forward, twist left. Look forward, now keep the elbows in place. Push your head into your hands, lift a little higher. From here, without kind of taking our lateral stretch, we're gonna have a flat back and kind of reach over to the side. Exhale, pull the navel in, bring yourself up. Hinge, reach over to the right. Exhale, pull the navel in, reach up. Exhale, over. Exhale, tone the tummy, pull it back. Exhale, over. Exhale, cinch the waist, bring it back. This time, reach over, pause. Poke the elbows wide, pull the navel in like we did earlier today. Take a big inhale. Exhale, twist, look down to the ground. <sighs> inhale, unravel, spiral back to me. Exhale, twist, look down to the ground. <sighs> Inhale, look back up to me. Exhale, big twist. Inhale, return. Exhale, big twist. Inhale, return. Last one, twist. Bring it back, pause. Take a big inhale, bring yourself up right. Take both hands nice and high. Left hand to left leg, stretch away. Bring yourself back up right. Lengthen and reach towards that opposite edge of the mat. Set your hand down, immediately pick up your leg. If that's too much, you can always pause. Belly button in, this time straighten the leg out and away. Give your tummy just that extra little oomph to pull everything up and in. Hand could come to our hip if we need to, but from here, can you take a big inhale? As you exhale, I want you to drag your right, I'm sorry, that's your left leg forward, and then pull it back behind you. Tone your tummy, bring the leg forward, and then bring it right back behind you. See if you can keep it even and parallel to the floor. We're not kind of wobbling it up and down. Exhale, navel to spine, pull it forward, bring it right back. One more time, bring it forward, bring it right back, pause. Lengthen even more like someone is holding your hip and someone is holding your ankle and they're pulling it away. Take a big, deep, full breath. Let it go. Go ahead, sit tall, sit straight. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Twist to the right. Twist to the left. Both hands high. Left hand to left leg. Big stretch. Let it go. Spiral to your first, or sorry, your second side. So we come back to our little mermaid pose right here. Belly button and head high, both hands lift. Hands behind the head. Twist to the left. Twist to the right. Come back center, pause. Press your head into your hands, your hands, um, or your hand, oh my goodness, press your head into your hands, your hands into your head so we can find the space between each and every little vertebra in our cervical spine. Elbows nice and wide, it's long straight back. Inhale, lean over. Exhale, cinch the waist, pull yourself back. Now, of course, my obliques, my tummy is getting a great big workout, but of course my legs are too. I'm almost pushing my right shin into the ground to help stabilize. My hip is lifting away from the floor. If yours can touch, that's awesome. That has a lot more to do with just the anatomy of our hips than anything else. But inhale over, exhale, pull it back. Inhale over. Exhale, pull it back. Last time over, pause, belly button in, take a big inhale. Exhale, twist. <sighs> inhale, look forward. Exhale, twist. <sighs> inhale, look forward. Exhale, twist. <sighs> inhale, return. Two more twist. <sighs> inhale, return. Last one. Bring it back, take a big breath, bring yourself upright, both hands lift nice and high. Right hand down to right shin and stretch towards the right side. Oh, that feels so good, I hope it does for you too. Come on back up. Reach away, take the hand down, immediately pick up your leg, navel in. 
Extend the leg long, stretch it further away, squeeze your thut, make as much kind of space right there through the front of our hip as possible. Great big inhale. Exhale, pull the leg forward. Inhale, reach it back. Now friends, if your leg does not go like parallel or right in front of your hip like mine is, that's okay. You can just take it to whatever spot that you can control it in. But I'm as much as I can trying to slide the leg forward, no kind of wave of it up and down. At the same time, I'm knitting my ribs together. And then I squeeze my thut and stretch through the leg as I take it back. Two more, pull it forward, bring it back. Last one, exhale forward, bring it back, pause, take a great big breath, relax. Both hands lift high. Right hand down, stretch to the right. Let that go. Go ahead and take an easy seat. Sit tall, sit straight. Both hands reach up, open up the elbows wide. Take a twist to the right. Look forward, twist to the left. Look forward, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see better. Both hands reach. Go ahead and twist right hand back, left hand forward, pause. You might take your left hand to left thigh, right hand back behind you and take a deeper twist if that feels good. Think about pushing my left sitting bone down into the ground deeper as I do that. Unravel both hands high, twist in the opposite direction. And again, you can take your right hand to left thigh, left hand behind you. I push my right sitting bone down to the ground and take that twist deeper. Unravel, extend both legs out in front of you. Flex your feet, sit tall and straight, both hands up. Rotate the pinkies, lift up and take a small hinge. Think about sending your sitting bones back behind you, big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, drape over your beach ball. Your hands may or may not touch your toes like mine are. It is perfectly fine if they don't, but hollow the tummy. Almost pull your pubic bone and chin towards one another. Roll yourself up. Now we're gonna come to either a gate pose or a modified side plank. There are different names for everything, it's okay. I find it easiest, at least for this little set that we're about to do, to start with a tabletop facing kind of towards me with the most of the mat on either side of you. And we're going to extend our left leg out and away and flex the toe. Now I am pushing down into the ground with my big toe and the side of my uh, foot there and it's easy to kind of hinge back um, but we want to squeeze our thut and push our pubic bone forward so as much as we can we kind of flatten out through the front of our psoas there no belly button up and in both hands lift high hands behind the head elbows wide tummy pulls in think about squeezing your inner thighs together right here this is a big pose on its own if at any time you need a pause take it from here like we did earlier I want us to lean over Exhale, cinch the waist, pull yourself up. Inhale, lean over. Exhale, pull the navel in, bring yourself up. Now this should be really a lot of oblique work, a lot of our side tummy work. Of course, other parts of my body are working too. I'm squeezing my thigh butt connection point on both sides. I am hugging my inner thighs towards one another. Beautiful. Inhale over, exhale, pull up. Two more over, exhale, pull up. This time reach over, pause. Press your pubic bone further forward. Push your hands into your head, your head into your hands. Take a big inhale. Exhale, twist, look down. Inhale, look to me again. Exhale, twist, look down. Look to me again. Three more, exhale, twist. Inhale, return. Two more, exhale, twist. Inhale, return. Last one, twist. Bring it back, pause, take a big breath. Bring yourself all the way up. Both hands lift nice and high. You can relax the leg a little bit. Drop your left hand down to your left leg. Stretch your right hand up. Take a big stretch over to that side. Navel in, big inhale. Go ahead, come back down to hands and knees. If you want to, sink back to a little child's pose. If you want to soften your shoulders, you can take your hands by your heels and really let the back of the body relax. Big full inhale. Big breath out. Roll yourself right back up and we will do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna start on my hands and knees and take my 
right foot out. And I'm really flexing that foot and pressing down through the side of the foot there. And then I guide myself up. Think about squeezing the inner thighs together, almost slightly pushing the pubic bone forward. It's not like I'm tucking my tail, trying to lift it up underneath me, but just gently enough forward that I almost flatten out that space where my pocket would be on my left side. Both hands reach high elbows behind, I'm sorry, elbows poke wide, hands behind the head, belly button in, squeeze the inner thighs together. I'm pressing down to the top of my left foot behind me. It is not tucked. That would hurt my kneecap, but you can do whatever feels best for you. Inhale, lean. Exhale, cinch the waist, return. Inhale, over. Exhale, navel to spine, return. Inhale, over. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, over, exhale, bring it back. Three more. And two. Last one, hold. Find the length through your spine. Push your pubic bone a little further forward. Wrap the ribs in, take a big inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, return. Exhale, twist. Inhale, return. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back. Twist. Inhale, back. Two more. Last one. Look forward. Bring yourself up. Unravel both hands, lift nice and high. Right hand down, left hand up, big stretch over to the side. Take a big deep inhale, and then slowly find your child's pose from the side. And again, it feels good to me to bring my hands back by my heels so I can just let my shoulders part behind me. Take a full, big, deep inhale. Great big breath out roll yourself up go ahead and extend your left foot off to the side again push down into that left leg rise back up now take your hands out like a little t press down into an imaginary table pull your belly button up and in squeeze your foot and then slide out and away can you slowly touch the ground with your fingers and float your foot up. My foot still flexed. You can kind of flip your palm so it's facing towards me. Hug your arm into an imaginary wall so it stays nice and lifted. Belly button up and in. Inhale, drop the foot down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, drop the foot down. Exhale, lift. You can smile when it gets hard. You can glare at me too. I do not mind because I don't know. I want you to feel good though. Take a pause if you need to. Squeeze the thigh. You got this. Two more. Down and up. Last one. Lift and pause. Belly button in. Lift the hand a little higher. Take a great big breath. Set the foot on the ground. Can you use your obliques to help push you all the way right back up? Beautiful. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Drop the elbow like we've already done. Exhale, pull yourself right back up. Inhale, drop the elbow down. Exhale, cinch the waist. Pull yourself right back up. You are doing so well. If there is cramping through any part of your body, I want you to stop and pause. It's okay to do so. You can always reset. Set. Last one. Lean over to the right. Hold. Navel to spine. Big inhale. Exhale. Twist. Inhale. Look forward towards me. Exhale. Twist. Inhale. Release. Two more. Twist. Bring it right back. Last one. Twist. Bring it back. Pause. Take a big inhale. Exhale all the way up. Come back down to your child's pose. Hands back. Forehead heavy. Take a pause. Take a moment. Roll yourself up. Go ahead and prep for our second side. My right foot is out. I'm hugging it down. I pull myself up. Navel to spine. Lift a little higher. Slide your hands out and away. Push down into your imaginary table. Hinge and reach. Slowly take the hand down, 
pick the leg up as you feel ready. You can always adjust where your hand is. Sometimes it doesn't quite go in that perfect spot the first time, it's okay. No matter where you're at though, envision someone holding your ears, pulling your ears towards one wall and someone else holding your ankle, pulling it back and away. Drop the foot down, exhale, lift. Inhale, drop the foot down, exhale, lift. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. Every time you lift, squeeze your thoughts, cinch your waist. Beautiful. Two more, down, exhale, up. Last one, down, exhale, up. Set the foot down. And again, we're going to use our oblique muscles to help lift us up. One side might be easier than the other. My first side was easier for me. Belly button and heads, I'm sorry, hands behind the head, elbows wide. And then same thing from our other side. We dip the elbow, exhale, we pull it back. Little dip, reach over. Exhale, tone the tummy, pull it back. Cinch your waist even deeper. Ex every single time you pull yourself up. Over. Exhale, return. Two more. Over. Exhale, return. Now comes the fun twist. Over, pause. Squeeze your thigh. Hug your inner thighs together. Exhale, twist. <sighs> Inhale, look to me. Exhale, twist. <sighs> Inhale, look to me. Three more twists. And let it go. Two more twists. Let it go. Last one. Look forward, pause, take a breath. Bring yourself up. Let that go. Drop your hand, knees down. Drop your chest down. Easy little child's pose. Big feeling inhale. Great big breath out. Another big deep inhale. Big breath out. Slowly roll yourself up. And friends, we're gonna lie on our tummy from here. So make your way down onto your stomach however you want to get there. That does not have to be graceful. Take your hands right in front of your face at first. Push your palms down into the ground and your forearms and elbows as well. Push your pubic bone down into the ground and find length through the lowest portion of your back. It's easy to kind of pop that tush up. I call that our Beyonce booty moment. We don't want to arch our back. That is not so good in our lumbar spine. We want to gently push the... Um, pubic bone into the ground so we make sure we're activating our glutes and hamstrings. It's the first thing I do anytime I lie in my stomach. At the same time, I wrap my ribs in and pull my navel to spine. Now keep all of that low body just as active. And now take your hands by your sides, hug the elbows together. I push down into the mat with my palms and I almost think about trying to slide my fingertips forward. As I do so, that helps to soften my shoulders down the back, creating a little bit of a stretch along my neck there. Is your low body still active? Are you pressing into your pubic bone? Are you pressing your feet down? Take an inhale, lift up into a little cobra. Belly button up and in. Big inhale. Exhale, lower down. Again, roll the shoulders, lift up into a little baby cobra. Hug the elbows together. Push the back of the head up higher. Are you actively arching your back? That's not really the purpose here. We're opening up across the front of the chest more so than a great big back bend. Let it go. Now this time, if you can, take your hands down by your sides. My palms are facing up to the ceiling. Roll the shoulders, float the hands and chest. Pause. Pretend someone has your ankle. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> those aren't ankles, those are wrists. Pretend someone has your wrist and they pull your wrist back. Your pubic bone is down, your belly button's up and in. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lift the hands a little higher, maybe lift the chest. And then slowly drop back to your starting point. Roll the shoulders, lift the heart, the chest, pubic bone down. Lower everything back. One more time up. Let everything go. Pause, bring your hands back in front of your face. Bend your knees. Take a little windshield wiper, side to side. Now, tuck your toes. Take your hands by your sides. I'm gonna challenge you. If it's too much, it's okay. But can we take a big inhale, hugging your elbows together? Big breath out, push up to a plank. <sighs> take another breath. Find your downward facing dog. Bend both knees deeply. Think about pulling the heels of your hands towards your toes. Shoulders down the back, head is soft and heavy. You could really let your head dangle right now if that feels nice. Take a big deep inhale. 
Straighten your right leg, bend your left. Your right heel may or may not touch the floor. Straighten your left leg, bend your right. Same thing. Do that side to side once or twice more, just moving through your body. And then from here, my friends, we're actually gonna come into a really mild pigeon pose. Now, the easiest way I like to get into the teeny tiny ones like we're about to do is simply by pulling my right knee to my right wrist and then pointing my right toe kind of towards my left hip and then slowly sinking back. Now, you might actually touch the ground or you might not, um, but we're not gonna go for that great big giant pigeon where our leg is parallel to the front edge of the mat. We're gonna stay right here, unless that feels really good in your body, in which case you can always adjust for yourself. But holding here for a moment, I walk my hands in a little bit more. I squeeze the thut on my left side and I think about reaching my pubic bone towards my right heel. Belly button up and in, big inhale. And sometimes it feels good to take a mild little sway side to side, kind of moving very gently in the ball and socket joint there of my hips. And then we might lower down. Now you can stay lifted like I am with my forearms. You could really recline right now if you want. It's really up to you. Everybody's a little different. Everybody's hips are a little different too. And I realize sometimes we love pigeon pose and sometimes we do not. If that is not working for you, then I would say lie on your back and do a figure four. It may or may not hit some of the same muscles that we are doing right here. Everyone's a little different, so it's always hit or miss. Which poses work best for which bodies? Now, instead of coming back up immediately into our downward facing dog, we're gonna lean over towards your right tushy, your right glute, and we're going to face forward. Now, you don't have to do that as gracefully as I just did. If that was not perfect, it's okay. But I've got my right leg in towards my body and I've extended my left leg away. Both hands lift high, elbows nice and wide. Take a big inhale, twist to the right. Inhale, look forward, twist to the left look forward go ahead drop the hand down lift your left hand high and kind of spiral your body up to the sky this might be enough for us we can stay right here it can also feel good to lift onto the knee and push the hip up i get a great big stretch across the front of my psoas as we do that but if you don't feel it quite there it's okay drop down take both hands high Turn to face your left leg, belly button up and in. There is a beach ball right here. We're gonna drape over the beach ball. Take a big inhale. Exhale, curl. And then as you exhale, you might take your little forward fold deeper. I could shove my head all the way down to the ground, but I wouldn't get the great big stretch, especially through kind of my lateral low back if I just immediately shoved my head down. It's more like someone is kind of punching me in the gut or I'm resisting the feeling of someone punching me there, curling, so I can drop the head a little bit lower. And then roll all the way up to a nice tall seat. Let's go ahead and find our downward facing dog once more. Pause for a moment, lift your hips up a little bit higher, take a breath. And then we're going to bring our left knee to our left wrist, point our toe towards our right hip and slide back into our great big pigeon pose and we might notice one side is you know a little tighter maybe it feels better to stay lifted when we do stretching things can be as active or passive as whatever we really want it to be um, I always just say listen to your body if you're moving mindfully you're doing what your body needs and again if we want to we can lower down now if you're really trying to kind of open up and release to the front of your right so as the front of our right hip the more you turn on the glute and hamstring of that leg the more you squeeze the thut more likely we are to release through that side of the body we can stay there for a few more breaths if we like And then at your own pace, we're going to lean over towards our left booty and roll ourselves up to a seat, just like we did on the other side. 
Um, and if you don't have quite as wide of a straddle as I do, it's okay, no big deal. But like we did on the first side, both hands lift high. Hands behind the head, elbows nice and wide. Take a big inhale, twist to the left. Inhale, look forward, twist to the right. Look forward, lean over and stretch. And maybe we stay right here or maybe we rise up and lift our hips away. And again, for me, I feel that nice stretch to the front of my hip. If you feel it somewhere else, that's okay. If you want more of an upper body stretch, you might try letting your hand kind of lean back behind you. And then lower all the way down to the ground. Both hands lift high. Rotate the pinkies towards one another. Lift an inch or two more. Turn to face your right leg. And again, there's a great big beach ball here. We're going to drape over the beach ball belly button in, tuck the chin to the chest, soften the shoulders. It's easy to cramp up here. I do it too. I have to remind myself. Maybe as you exhale, you go a little further. But again, for me, the more I kind of reach my left hip back and I round in, I kind of tuck my head and tail towards one another, the bigger of a stretch I feel back there. Roll all the way up to a nice tall seat. Take an easy seat. Find that lovely pose. Belly button up and in, both hands lift high. Exhale, flip the palms, push them down. Sit a little taller, a little straighter. As always, a great big pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed class. I cannot wait to see you again. Thanks so much for joining me for class today. I certainly hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Remember, you can find even more videos just like this by downloading our Yoga Plus app. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. Available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.